Hi there, my name's Simon and welcome to another video where I'm going to share with you some hints and tips about how to improve your online teaching environment. In my YouTube or under my YouTube videos, uh, a number of people have left comments specifically about Google Meet and how to get that working with OBS, which is why I've created this video. So this is my OBS and Google Meet guide. Hopefully, if you go through these steps, you'll be able to set up OBS and Google Meet avoid a few problems that people commonly have and improve your teaching environment using Google Meet. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is revisit this slide from one of my previous videos, which compares the functionality of these uh, applications you might use for online teaching. And there's a good reason why you would want to use Google Meet. So you can share sound, um, you don't have to download the app, although if you look above my head, you do need to sign into Google to use Meet, um, which is something that surprised me the other day. I thought Google Meet would be available to anyone and you don't need to have a Google account, but it turns out you do. And if you send a link to someone who doesn't have a Google account, then they are directed to the Google page to create an account or at least sign in. So uh, that's perhaps something I should have said in my video from a week or two ago, but I'm telling you guys now. It works fine with OBS, with one or two things uh, that you have to be aware of that I'll discuss in a few seconds. And you've got a number of cool things that you can do with Google Meet. So with that being said, let's find out how you set up OBS and Google Meet. Okay, so the first step is quite straightforward, but it's worth saying. So the first thing we've got to do is turn on OBS, which I've done here. And if I move the screen down, turn on the virtual camera. Now, if you've installed the virtual camera properly, you'll see that it's in the tools menu. If it's not here, you haven't installed it correctly, so make sure you go back and do that. Click on the virtual camera and then click the start button. Here, the virtual camera is on because the stop button is highlighted. If it wasn't on, the start button would be highlighted. So now that we've got OBS on and the virtual camera on, we can go forward unless, of course, you are an, a Mac user. Now, for whatever reason, Macs and OBS Virtual Camera don't cooperate. So Mac users stop right here. You have to find a different virtual camera to use in order to use Google Meet through, uh, at least certainly Google Meet and OBS. So it's not my fault. I've put a video out already saying that this is an issue and it was attacked by Apple Mac users once again, I didn't design OBS, I'm just letting you guys now uh, know now, if you've got an Apple, stop the video right now, I'm not going to be able to help you. Okay, with that being said, let's get on to step two, which is start Google Meet and find the OBS virtual camera. So let's drag across Google Meet here. Let's make that a little bit smaller just to make sure that it's in the video frame. Here we go. Let's start a new meeting start an instant meeting and here we go so you can see now that my virtual camera is working and i can see myself on google meet if just to go over just to go through the settings menu in case you can't see the virtual camera click on more options go to settings and here you'll be able to go through the audio and video settings so here you've got my audio uh, setup microphone and speakers if I click on video, this is where you can choose your camera. So Logitech, this is the, the camera that I'm recording on, and OBS camera, this is the virtual camera which I'm using to show you the images. So this is where you choose the camera. I've said here that there are some known problems, and a lot of people have written to me saying, my Google Meet can't see OBS virtual camera. And this has never happened to me. So I am unable to tell you, okay, guys, this is what I did to solve the problem. But it does seem to be an issue. I've searched on some forums, trying to help some people out, trying to point them in the right direction. And it seems to be a number of different things that could be the case why OBS, uh, why Google Meet sometimes can't see the OBS virtual camera. I would encourage you to do some research type into Google uh, OBS, Google Meet problems, and do some reading and see if one of those proposed solutions, normally in forums, will help you out. Okay, point number three. 
Okay, so now we get on OBS, we have to decide how are we going to display the information to Google Meet. And here it largely depends on how many monitors you've got. If you've got a single monitor, then I would imagine the best idea would be to use, let me move that out of the way, window capture. Now window capture allows you to choose an open window on your uh, screen and then just show that window. And that way it gives you a bit more control about what you show through Google Meet. So if I turn on the window capture here, as you can see, I've got this on um, eBay web page for, so I might have a lesson on eBay or something like this, and I would just want you to have a look at this web page, nothing else. So being on one monitor allows me to have a lot of control about what I can show you if I use uh, the window capture. But if I've got a, um, let me just get rid of that window uh, capture. So. If I've got dual or multiple monitors, then what I can do is I can just drag that information in. So for example, I've got two monitors set up here, so I can just move that in out of the side and then drag it back in. So it really depends on how many monitors you have, uh, what you're used to. Uh, of course, you can use Windows Capture if you've got multiple monitors, there's nothing to stop you from doing that. So there are some options about how you display information to OBS and that's important. And it's important because I don't want you to use present now. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way so you can uh, see this. Let me minimize that. Do not use present mode on Google Meet. Do not use it. Let me just bring that back up. Why? If I use present now, then it gives me the option of choosing what I want to present. So I pr present my entire screen, for example, and let me present screen three. Okay, so this is a monitor. And what you're seeing, what the person will see now on um, who I'm talking to on Google Meet, they will just see a blue screen. They won't see my face anymore. They'll hear me, of course they will, but they won't be able to see me. And this is a lot of issues that some uh, that people are having. So people are clicking on present now because they want to show information through Google Meet. And as a result, they are disappearing themselves. But the problem that they're uh, but the problem that they're making is that we are using OBS to show um, information or images. We are not showing Google Meet. So let me stop sharing now and bring that back and take you to another slide to make that a little bit clearer. Remember what OBS does. Now, OBS, this is another slide I've taken from a previous video. OBS is a virtual camera. So it sits between your web camera and Google Meet, which you can see just here next to me. And what we want to do is send images through OBS not through Google Meet. So this is what we want to do. We want to send what we want to show information at the risk of repeating myself again through OBS. So if you click present now, what you're doing is you're forgetting about OBS and you're not using the functionality of OBS. So we need to not use Google present now and we need to use Google, uh, we need to use uh, OBS, sorry, we need to use either the Windows Capture or the Display Capture. Okay, so what other cool things can you do with Google Meet? Well, you can share sound, although this is a bit limited, hopefully this will get better with time. Um, the way to do this is to click on Present Now, click on a Chrome tab, and then you would choose a tab which has got sound. So if you want to share a YouTube page, for example, then click this button here or make sure that this option is checked and you'll be able to share sound. Now, of course, this means for that time, the student won't be able to see you because you'll be presenting a screen. And we had a look at that. Uh, we had a discussion about that just a few seconds ago. So temporarily, this is okay. Uh, but it does have its limitations. So that's one thing that you can do. You can share audio to a certain extent. You can turn on subtitles. So if you turn on this uh, captions button here, 
Um, as I start speaking, then uh, Google will automatically start generating captions. And this is something that might be really useful. You can't be might be really useful, but could be useful during your uh, teaching, whatever that might be. If you're teaching language uh, languages, for example, then this would be a fan. This could be a fantastic resource for you. Let me turn that off. And of course, we've got the chat function there, which shouldn't be ignored. So you can send a message, um, you can send questions. I'm not sure if you can upload files here or not. I'm assuming you can, but that also might be a useful functionality. Okay, I hope that this video will be useful to you and give you a little bit more confidence when you're using Google Meet, despite the fact I was rambling on and on. If you've got any questions at all about the video, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to them or create content to answer your questions. Uh, but just before you go, please have a look at my other videos, the real reason why my channel exists, which is to help you develop your professional English writing skills. I'm producing a lot of content. Uh, I put out videos three times a week to make you think about how to improve your professional English writing skills. So if you're interested in that, then you can check out the other videos on my channel and certainly be sure to check out my Patreon page where you can support me there. Okay, guys, I'll see you again soon.